big impact there. Yeah. All right, let's talk about some new traffic signals coming to several intersections in San Antonio. Our Samuel King joins us now. Sam, these upgrades made possible by federal funding? Yeah, that's right, Steve and Myra. $2 million in federal highway safety grants. And this week, the San Antonio City Council signed off on the plans. The new signals will cover areas from the east side to the west side as the city continues its work to slowly upgrade its more than 1,400 signalized intersections. These roughly 10 or so intersections, like the one here at McCullough in Brooklyn, chosen based on traffic studies and staff recommendations. Among the changes you'll see is elimination of these wires and the signals hanging from them. Instead, there'll be steel poles. Also, more vehicle detection equipment and traffic cameras, all in order to make things safer. The city tells us that the intersections in question have had a number of crashes with severe injuries and deaths over the years. Police were called out several times to these intersections for traffic incidents in September alone. People who live and work nearby hope the changes will help improve traffic flow and safety. Casserole gets uh, really backed up from uh, the school all the way up to couples. It's a standstill. Stephen Vera Steve runs Robert's Flower Shop near Cashville Road and Couples down the street from San Fernando Cemetery. The turning here, you can't you can't turn uh, left. It, it takes forever. Um, you definitely have to wait a few time, a few lights to make it. It seems like you kind of have to force your way through, and it you, know, you see a lot of accidents around here. Something needs you know could be done to make it better. And this package also includes a new pedestrian signal at Gevers and Drexel Avenue. It could be a while, though, before drivers see changes at all of those intersections. Work isn't scheduled to be completed until 2023. Uh, we have